Baby! <gasps> Baby! Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is your boy Benny coming back at it again with yet another vid. Welcome to the show. If you love sneakers, you're in the right place. If you're new to the channel, please consider like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get all the updates on the upcoming content. I know you guys are here to see the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's get started with the box. The Air Jordan 1 Court Purple actually came in the standard black and red Nike Air Jordan 1 box. Matter of fact, this Air Jordan box is actually features in the 1985 original Air Jordan 1 in the same style. We got the matte black exterior with the red Nike logo all over the box. And the colorway on these shoes is Court Purple, Black and White. Open up the box and we found an Air Jordan 1 Court Purple. Once again, Nike using his original assets, twisting it a little bit, delivered the refreshing feeling to the Nike Air Jordan 1 with the purple hue on the upper. In my humble opinion, this purple hue is actually a little too dark to my liking. I would prefer this more if they came with the lighter shades of purple. We have this black, white, and purple full grain leather covering around the upper portion of the shoes, the white midsole, and the purple outsole that matching with the purple on the upper. Both medial and lateral side of the shoe features the same thing, black swoosh, white panels, purple overlay, and of course we get the classic Black Wings logo on the collar of the shoes. Material-wise, these shoes is actually really, really solid. The sneakers doesn't feature super plush leather by no means, but these is really thick cuts of leather. I can definitely tell that once they start breaking in, this shoe is going to look really, really incredible. We got the classic nylon tongue, but this time around, Jordan Brand actually switched things up and using a leather tongue tag. We got the purple Nike Air branding debossed into the leather piece. And to be honest, i rather have the classic style nylon tongue tag than these leather tongue tag any days. With these classic Chicago 1 style color blocking, you can't go wrong with the black laces. But my rule of thumbs is actually matching the laces color with the tongue. And giving these shoes the white laces definitely the cleanest look by far in my opinion. As I mentioned in the beginning of the videos, I don't really like the purple hue on this. I feel like it's a little too dark to my liking. So I actually did something to the shoes and this is what happened. I bet you guys see this custom floating around the internet quite often than not. The shoes is actually based on the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple as we can see. And what I did to the shoe is actually saturated the sneakers with the rubbing alcohol to remove all the factory finishes. And after that, I'm using sandpaper to go over all the purple portion of the shoes. The result is phenomenal. What we are looking at here is the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple with the suede custom and the purple hue on the shoe got a lot lighter than the purple hue on their leather original variant. My overall opinion about the shoes, the shoe just looks so much better once it's done comparing to the original variant. The faded purple suede contrasting with the dark purple stitching just give the shoe a distressed look. And by adding the tie-dye purple laces, the shoe just came together so well and having that vintage vibe to it. As we can see through the camera, by changing the material property, it creates the clear distinct between two shoes. One of which is much cleaner and look like something you would wear in your special occasion. And the other is something that you have in your rotation for daily use.
Let me show you guys how these two shoes look on feet and you can decide which look is for you. Regarding the size and fit, as we all know, the Air Jordan 1 tends to fit a little bit narrow. So for me, I go up half a size to accommodate with my Y feet and they fit great. That is pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace out.